Hey guys, Victoria here and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'll be launching two types of notes for KSSM Form 4 and that's Sejarah and Chemistry. So for Sejarah, there's one book and for Chemistry, there's two books. One for the concise notes and example questions and the other one for the full list of formulas, definitions and experiments. So we'll talk about Chemistry later, but let's start with Sejarah first. So basically, this is the table of content and these are a few cues that I will use. So if I have three stars on that particular question, it means that it's very important and you should focus on it. And then if I have the QMCQ, meaning that it will most probably be asked as an objective question, so you should pay attention to that. So this is basically how I structured my notes. Basically, is questions and answers. So for example, structure question, I have one, two, three, and four, and then there's essay question as well. So whenever there's essay questions that are more important, I'll put like three stars for example, here. And sometimes I'll put cues for MCQ as well, right here. MCQ. When I highlight this, um, when I bold these two, it means that these two things may be asked in MCQ. So maybe they'll be asked like, who is called Lion of Malaria? And your answer will be Gurchan Singh, something like that. Okay, so basically that's how I structured this book. Because I think that when you look at the textbook, it can be quite overwhelming. There's too much information and you are not sure like which questions would be asked in structured questions and which would be asked in essay. So basically this is a collection of important structured and essay questions. So you will have a rough idea on which questions will most probably be asked. So this is like the complete notes for Form 4. So that's for Sejara. And now let's move on to chemistry. So for chemistry, I have two books here. Let's look at these first, the concise notes and example questions. So this is the table of content and some notes. So MCQ means that it will most probably be asked in paper one. And then note basically is mostly my explanation. So it'll be in my own words so that you can understand it better. And then essay questions. Um, this is structured question and three stars means that it's very important. Sometimes I put four stars if it's super important. And sometimes I just like bluntly put must memorize. So if I put that then you know you have to memorize that. So this is how the questions are like. So for example here I've included like these little triangles which are very useful for chapter 2 calculations. So I've included like what the symbol stands for and how you should use it as well. It's very useful. More triangles. And then these metals, I've also um, tried to include some acronyms for you guys so that you can memorize the um, elements in their order. For example, for element 18, I have this acronym right here and how you can memorize it as well because it will be so helpful to memorize these elements. So I've also included like um, some practice questions. For example, here there's like questions and answers so that you can know sort of the type of questions that will be asked for chapter four specifically. Like for example, this is the famous question for my four periodic table. And some drawings of these as well. And then this is the cross formula that um, is used to determine the formula of covalent molecules. Like sometimes it's, it's super important, I'll just like, besides the star, I will also put like very important or sometimes I'll just put please memorize. So those are the things that you really have to memorize. So those are the cues for this book. This is like the complete notes for Form 4, but excluding experiments. So this is the book where you have like all the experiments and the full list of formulas and definitions as well. So for example, okay, this is the table of content. So you have the full list of formulas are also known as the cheat sheet and then full list of definitions and the full chemistry experiments, which I have uh, sorted according to the pages. So that's easier for you guys. So for example, the important formula that I've included for this chapter would be the three triangles, like I said. 
And apart from formula as well, I've included some very important things that you need to memorize. For example, periodic table, right? You are supposed to know the group 1 reaction with water, the chemical equation for all these, you are supposed to know. So I did not include only formula. I also included the core things of that chapter as well, so that's easier for you guys. And this is the cross method. And then there's one more triangle here. So that's the full list of formula and then this is the important definitions to memorize. So for example, for chapter 6, there are quite a few um, important def definitions. So I've included that. So it's just easier for you guys to, you know, locate. And then we have the experiments in chemistry. So um, everything that you need is here, like that's A, material, apparatus, procedure with the drawings as well. More examples here. So yeah, that's basically how I've structured my notes for chemistry. There's two books. One book is essentially the notes and example questions as well. And then the other book will be um, on formulas, definitions and experiments. So I sell it as a set. So if you're interested to purchase, you can um, contact me via Instagram and then you can purchase from me. So yeah. So... Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.